Learn this blizzard spell. Very important. Very, very important. And now we're going to go up here. Uh, th there's not a whole lot of point for me to do this because I don't have a red mage. But I do want to at least get the holy arrows. And I guess I could fight the the griffin here. Let's see how much damage the monk does. Yeah, see? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the monk is going to do way, way less. He's going to do way more damage, but take way more damage. Uh, I could have the fighter dual wield, but you can see his attack is still, like... Slightly over half, I would say. I, I'd put that about, what, 55, 60%? I don't know. Math is hard. Math is hard. Um... Let's go ahead and cure... Everybody. Everybody up to full. Open this chest. Uh, this, there's no real reason for me to be getting this right now. Because... Ow. Uh, you get a... Uh, what is it called? A, you get a sword that only the red mage can use. I... Didn't mean to attack with the black mage there, but that's fine. Uh, so nobody can use this sword but the white, uh, the red mage, which we don't have in the party. So, bleh. But, figure, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab it. I'm going to do my best to open all the chests. Although, if I miss any, I'm not going to stress over it. Stressing is the opposite of what I want to do. Let's go ahead and go back here. We got lots of money. I'm gonna poke my little head in here and heal up. My little onion kiss. So, this is my favorite fighter sprite <laughs> in the series. Cause he's got the little he's got the little short short booty he's got the little booty shorts on. It's amazing, I love it. There it is. I was like, where is the item shop in here? Uh, I do want to pick up... A... Just to have uh, five or six of these. Got plenty of potions. Got 16. Full HP. Got my cure spell. Got my... Got my cure spell and got my blizzard spell. Now we're going to save the game again. Going in this first dungeon. Uh, you know what? Defend, defend, defend. I do think that will actually put somebody to sleep. Um, I, I'm fairly certain that will... That stair move will put you to sleep. I want my job levels to be right at around. Oh, I would say ten when I get to the when I get done with this place. Uh. You know what I need to do? Well, first of all, I need to cure that poison, but... Alright, so we're gonna have you defend, you attack, and we're gonna have you cast Cure on everybody. Because I want this fight to be over pretty quickly.
That might kill him. If he dies... Okay, he didn't die. But this is why I bought those... And antidotes, because you can get poisoned in here, and it's bad. Uh, let me see. We're going to actually do this. Yes. Put you in the back row. Uh, that's another cure spell that we can't really use. It'd be good. That would have been good if we had gotten a red mage. And what we're going to do is defend here. Let the uh, two let the two boy short boys take care of this stuff. Unfortunately, the uh, unfortunately the the DPS of my fighter is going to be a bit lacking for a while. Um, can you go ahead and use a Blizzard spell. Well, okay then. There. Don't miss. What's wrong with you? It's fine. Nice. Uh, the more job levels you get in this game, the higher. So, what the way job levels work? If you go to status. You can see, essentially, the more job levels you have, the more attack multipliers you'll get. And I think your attack also goes up as well. Uh, but that also counts for your magic spells. So, like, your blizzard spell will do more hits. Meaning it will do more damage. It's very important. I don't actually know if I... If being blind does anything for spells, but he did miss all those coppers. They could just be immune to ice. But I don't think they are. And this is Princess Sarah. She is going to confront the Jin. The Jin. Dijin. Dijon. Dijon Mustard. Now we have Princess Sarah in our party. Revenants. These guys are probably the most... I want to say they're the most dangerous enemy in here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do this. To kind of kill one of them very quickly. I... Okay, good. I didn't waste my spell. I was going to be like, I didn't mean to auto-battle there. You're going to hear me say, I didn't mean to auto-battle a lot. I think. But thankfully, it's mostly a minor inconvenience. Fighters getting there. I think the fighter's biggest strength is his ability in the early game. Well, first of all, he's real tanky. But I think his biggest strength in the early game is the fact he gets access to several uh, elemental weapons. Can use a wide range. So, like, in this dungeon, you could put the... Uh, do what I have done and put the... Uh, holy arrows on the fighter to put him in the back row to kind of capitalize on both his high defense... And the fact that, you know, he can equip them 
and do elemental damage against these these fools. Okay, so I've still got four MP. I definitely want to save that. All right. So be very careful because when you cross that crystal right there, you automatically get thrown into the cutscene, which starts the boss battle. So you want to you want to like make sure you're ready before you do that. I died the first time I. Um, so we're gonna have you defend, right? We're gonna have you use this Antarctic wind. Okay, that's real good. So the, the Jin is weak to ice. Uh, so you definitely. I'm gonna have you defend again since you're the one that got hit. Uh, so you definitely wanna have somebody with, uh, like, a black mage use that Antarctic wind that you picked up. If you save the Antar Antarctic Winds from the previous dungeon, you can actually kill this boss, like, very, very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and heal you up. But... Very few monsters, bosses, or whatever on the floating continent can stand up to the, like, sheer... DPS of the monk. It's actually going to be a very difficult decision on who I want to get rid of. Uh, the first two jobs that I'm definitely getting rid of are going to be the uh, fighter and the monk, but I just don't know which one I want to get rid of first. I suppose that will depend largely on who, uh, what jobs I, I get from the Fire Crystal. Like, if I get Knight, obviously, I'm just going to just drop Fighter, because Knight is a straight upgrade to Fighter. And basically, absolutely every way. And then just whoever I get at the water crystal, uh, will the other person will drop that. Will drop their class and pick that up. If I get real lucky, I'll pick Dragoon. I'll get Dragoon uh, when I get to the water crystal. Uh, that will make the Garuda boss fight easy. Uh, the boss is not impossible if you don't have Dragoon. Like, the first time I did this challenge... My party was Viking. Hold on, I can actually, I can actually look. <coughs> uh, it was Viking. It was Thief, Viking, Red Mage, Black Mage, and I beat the boss. It took me several tries, I because I had to get kind of like the the. the, the like what actions do I need to take? Uh, and basically, what did I? What I ended up doing was, um, I didn't attack at all with the thief and the uh, the Viking. I just had them throwing high potions, and <laughs> so what you got for me in here? Go ahead and get fire. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell sleep. I don't care about it. Sell this wood arrow. I don't care about it. Um, Sell the staff. I don't need these knives. I don't need this white slayer. Uh, don't need these long swords. I'll hold on to the rest. Oh, and by the way, you can, like, remove magic at any time. So you can remove the spell and then learn it back again. It's not like uh, Final Fantasy 1 where spell learning is permanent. Um, let's see. What do we got here? I definitely want one of those and two of those. And one of these.
Alright, cool. And the beds in here are still free. And we're going to take advantage of them. Because when we get uh, out of this little area, this little tutorial area, we are not going to have any free beds for a bit. Speak to this guy, he'll put a mithril uh, ram on the front of your airship, which will allow you to get past that boulder. Mithril prow, excuse me. So if you've never played the 3D version of this game, the the uh, characters, the the onion kids, they're not onion kids. They are uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They like they have names and stuff. It's Refia, Ark, Lunith, and I can't remember the fourth one's name. You know what? Just defend. One of the great things about uh, the fighter having a bow on is that he can solo back attacks. Which is really good. I'm going to keep this... I'm going to keep a bow on the fighter probably for a little bit. Let him solo stuff. But you do get two Mithril Swords here, which uh, the Red Mage cannot use, but the Red Mage also has uh, would have the White Slayer. Uh, but the two Mithril Swords, just to give you an idea what kind of damage you're looking at here, it kind of puts him up on par. Sort of, with the Monk. I don't think these numbers are entirely accurate for the Monk or the... Uh, what is it? Is it Master or Black Belt in this version? Anyway, I don't think those numbers are entirely accurate. And the reason I say that is because... I want the bow and the holy arrows. Thank you. Uh, the... Uh, the reason I say that is because... Like... He'll have, like, similar numbers to the fighter and be doing way more damage. Uh, yeah, I'll use my last end I'll pick some more up before we leave. I want, my, I want my two mages to get as many levels as they can. Job levels, that is. Um, yeah, we'll just switch over to the black belt for this. And I don't know if it's like, it's a crit thing or what. But uh, there's definitely something going on with the damage output of the... Let's get back up to 10 here. Of the two martial arts class. Uh, the master... I'm just going to call it the master. Because I, ma I think it's master in this version. Uh, the master is absurdly good. They can get... They can hit 9999 in this great one of the best things about this version of the game compared to the NES version is they they really did rebalance all the jobs so a lot of the jobs that just didn't really have anything going for it in combat uh, they now have things that warrant you to use them 